Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today I am coming at you with a highly requested review video on this beautiful handbag right here. It is Louis Vuitton Retiro, the new model in the color Noir, the black. How gorgeous this handbag. I absolutely adore using this bag since the day I got it. This bag has been the bag that I grab and go the most uh, when I need a good size bag like this. The shape of the bag is so so classy and elegant I really enjoy using this bag with no worry even though it is a monogram print handbag there is no Vachetta leather as you guys can see it does come with the Vachetta leather option for this handbag and there is a red color they call it cherry and there's another color called Aurore, Aurore. Uh, it's like burgundy pinkish purplish undertone uh, color. It is pretty but I went with the black color. I do think the Vachetta leather look the best with the monogram print handbag. I mean the combination look the best. It looks really feminine. It looks just they go together so well but I do have a two years old little active boy with me and he likes to grab everything around me so I do worry about my handbag getting dirty but shed out leather tends to get dirtier uh, dirty easily and the watermarks and uh, it does rain a lot here in uh, where I live so I really enjoy having just a black color with the monogram print the black actually makes the monogram print kind of understated in my opinion so I like that look also yeah that is that and it is the lightweight it's not too heavy I mean it's a lightweight handbag it's not um, lighter than the speedies uh, or never fall because it does have the microfiber lining inside and it does have the four feet which doesn't have with the uh, speedies right so it does add some weight but it's not a heavy bag at all love that let me show you guys the details of the handbag on the top there you guys can see the little rock uh, lug sorry guys lug right here it says lv embossed the other side Louis Vuitton Paris embossed on the zipper poles Louis Vuitton Paris I think it does say no Louis Vuitton only on the other side as well and this lock uh, just hanging there rubbing the zipper pole it does get scratches right here but I really like the look of it how shiny the gold hardware is they you know together right there it just adds up something there love that and it does have kind of flat handle not like the speedy speedies have the round handle but this flat handle it is very comfortable actually and it doesn't slide off or things like that and as you guys can see like so and there is a little button that you can see it's so dainty and cute it says Louis Vuitton Paris on the other side also exactly the same on the four different side on the handles all say that Louis Vuitton Paris love that on the front part there's Louis Vuitton Paris embossed right there on the leather and the leather uh, trim it just has a round shape which just you know look really good I, in my opinion it doesn't it is not like sharp straight cut so I like that look also on the side of this handbag there is a little leather tab and this little ring is to attach the shoulder strap so this handbag does come with the shoulder strap I'll show you guys that in a minute and there is a little trim right here with the black color love all the details on this area there is round this with the stitching on the bottom sorry guys it's kind of hard to show you guys so that is the front part on the back there is no embossed Louis Vuitton anything like that just solid black leather that is cap leather cap skin so on the other side also is exactly the same as the other one on the bottom there's four feet which is the great great thing for me at least I really love handbag having four feet or 
you know, many feet as possible. I love that. It doesn't just uh, protect the bottom of the handbag, but it also adds up something to the bag. It's like more detail and it adds up more to the bag. It's like accessory, right? So love that. And it is two pieces of canvas, like stitching in the middle. Love that look also. And little the leather just having that i don't know i just love details on this handbag love it very much okay let me show you guys inside of the bag oh before i do that i will show you the modeling shots first because uh, i do have already the air papers let me move the chair here and the leather strap looks like this has the regular Louis Vuitton clasp Louis Vuitton emboss right there on the other side exactly the same and there is stitching in the middle love that and here little details like this love that I don't know why but I really like the details of the things there is one two three four five holes so you guys can see so it is adjustable there is a little tab right there on the side right there at the end it's exactly the same clasp so when you hook this on to your handbag it looks like so I normally wear it this way I have lots of air paper in there so it looks kind of bulky but when you don't have it it's different I'm I'm a girl who likes to you know hold a handbag like this way just any bag that I have so this is the, my favorite way to carry the bag looks like so when you have it on the bottom just holding it it's a perfect size it's not too big not too small love it and I have the setting the, the shortest because this shoulder uh, shoulder strap tends to get kind of um, I wouldn't say annoying but it could annoy many people I think because it, it is kind of long so when you just have your handbag just resting like so it's already um, touching the ground so you always need to hold the shoulder strap like this which doesn't bother me uh, but it could be the cone actually for this handbag so that's how it looks and you know what I got a request from my subby um, to add the Matisse shoulder strap so there is my Matisse Matisse comes with the shoulder strap as you guys know so she wanted me to do put this shoulder strap on the material to show how it looks or how it feels or things like that since the retiro does have the shoulder strap kinda thin I would say compared to others so when you have the Matisse, pochette Matisse shoulder strap hanging on this handbag looks like so and the Matisse uh, shoulder strap has the seven holes and I have on the fifth right here so on your shoulder looks like so what do you guys think? It just look very similar, right? But this shoulder strap is really thick and strong, which can be good or bad, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it adds up a little weight also. And it's really stiff. So hanging there, still it will hit the bottom. Uh, I think I won't do this, but if you really really prefer that may be a way to go right so uh, let me take this off 
and I will show you guys how also I got the uh, request to show the comparison between my Montaigne so that is my Montaigne MM size MM and this is the Retiro side by side very similar in size um, on the screen right looking they both look I mean they're about the same size I would say but they're really different handbag um, yeah that's what I would say and if you guys want me to do in depth of the comparison I will do that and just in case if you're wondering how Alma PM looks next to the Retiro Alma definitely looks smaller but anyway it looks like so and I have this toiletry 26 the biggest size it comes just comparison right showing you and I think some of you guys asked me if it will fit um, in this handbag and you know what it does fit <laughs> I'll show you guys that let me show you this way so you guys can see so one great great thing about this handbag is the mouth opening is wide like can you guys see that it doesn't stop right here like speedy does it goes all the way down like the speedy umprint leather ones does so I really like that because you can just open your bag and see everything um, that is that and I will have to talk about the speedy later on uh, I hope it, this video doesn't get too long but anyways here is a toiletry 26 and when you put this in it does fit but you know what I wouldn't really use that because every time you take it off the canvas will scratch you know this zipper um, anyways I don't think that's a good idea to do that anyways it does fit um, just showing that oh and I do have a little charm right here I love this charm on this handbag since there isn't much going on in a way right uh, this is from Louis Vuitton and this is only one uh, one and only charm that I have from Louis Vuitton and I absolutely love it and it looks really really good here I think so I have that there and somebody is texting <laughs> sorry guys so my phone by the way my cover is from Daiso it's like one dollar and fifty cents I think I will have that in here let me show you guys so inside there is microfiber lining it is um, luxurious to the touch but I actually prefer the more like you know the usual uh, the speedy and the neverfull comes with because it does catch a lot of dust in it and it the color is black so it catch a lot of dust I don't know if you guys can see how dirty it gets um, yeah I try to clean it and I dust it but it doesn't really come off so that is that so there is on this side there's two little pockets can you see that there's two compartments right here it's pretty good size uh, I do have a little pouch that it came with for the key or the lock uh, so there is that and here it says Louis Vuitton Paris uh, written in the gold color on the other side the side that I put my phone um, there is one big compartment that is uh, easy to you know access and put anything in here so that is that so in the middle part let me show you guys I've done what's inside or what fits inside of my retiro or uh, what's in my bag and I did that but I will show you guys quickly in this video if you guys haven't seen that one okay so I have a lot of things right here so I have toiletry size 19 which is the medium size I, I normally carry my son's stuff and just little bits of things that is liquidy uh, I put it in there so it doesn't bring my handbag so I'll put that in there and the second 
big thing I have here is my agenda size MM so I'll put that in there it, this handbag fits a lot um, a lot of things so it does get heavy because I tend to put a lot of things when you have space right I do have this wallet this is Sarah wallet uh, Sarah Retiro uh, the shape of it is exactly the same as this handbag I love this wallet this is my favorite wallet ever okay so that's that and my pochette Matisse no sorry guys mini pochette <laughs> Okay, so that is that and I have little wipes for my baby and diaper. I'll put that in there. Actually, I have extra diaper in the toiletry 19, but oh well, I already have it here. So I have my sunglasses case. I'll put that on that side. And I have six key holder. Put that on the top. I have a little uh, tissue paper. I have a little beep. Oh my goodness, how much can this fit, right? Okay, so normally I carry my uh, shawls or scarves in the dust bag. So I have my Burberry scarf in my Louis Vuitton dust bag. I just put it in here and I put it on the top of this handbag. Let me show you guys. It just... It's, Put it there. It fits all of it right here, like so. Fits so much, right? It fits a lot. Love it. And um, I wanted to show you guys one. I think it could be downside thing because one of my subbies. Um, Hi girl, she knows that I'm talking about her because she emailed me and asked me if I know what to do with her situation on her retiro because she loved it and she bought it but then after using for a while every single day with putting heavy things in her bag it became like this her retiro, the same one that I have became like this. Can you guys see the problem that she's having? Right this part. Yes, this handbag the start from here for the shoulder strap, which can be a problem because when you carry heavy, big laptop and like thick textbooks uh, in this handbag, of course, and when you are carrying the bag with the shoulder strap, this part will be pulled and pulled over time it will make you know the bag like what she's having so she put her bag uh, to rest right now and she really wanted the bag to become the way how it was just like you know mine because I do carry my handbag most of the time hand you know like this I don't know I crook up my arm that's my favorite way to you know carry my handbag but I always like to have a option of the you know shoulder strap because I have a little boy and that's the only time I just you know put it on my shoulder when I have to hold him things like that so yeah that is that and another thing a lot of you guys asked me to do the comparison video on this handbag and the speedy 30 the bandolier that I had uh, yeah that I had <laughs> I did uh, sell both of the speedy bandolier 30 that I had in the monogram and the Damien Eben print ones I yeah I know you guys might say what you you did like I I did make a video one bag tag that one bag that I could have I chose the speedy bandolier 30 in the Damien Eben print which I absolutely loved. I actually miss it. Uh, I sold it, but uh, this bag came out later. Uh, yeah, I made that video, right? So I don't know. Uh, the Speedy, it doesn't. It does have opening kind of tight here. It doesn't go all the way down, but that bag wouldn't have problem like you know this part pulling and creasing right this area that 
my you know subby was having uh, issue with so that will be the plus for that but anyways I do miss my speedy to be honest but I really loved Speedy 30 and Bandoli. If you guys have gotten that bag, uh, I will still say yes. That's the really best bag and awesome bag. You know, you have to, you don't have to worry about watermarks, things like that for the Damien Iben bag. But I do not actually regret uh, after selling them and getting this one. I sold both of them to get this one because I don't like. I really think that they they look really similar, just functionality and the look of it. They are the different handbags, of course, and Speedy is iconic, right? But I normally don't just go for the iconic. I do like iconic, uh, having iconic handbags, right? But I don't know. I, I, I like to have bags that I enjoy and use really a lot. And this bag has a little bit of things more than the Speedy had, like four feet on the bottom. Uh, and this bag is already shaped. It wouldn't, I don't really see this handbag getting slouchy on the bottom, which I always had to put my uh, base shaper on the Speedy ones that I had. And the top, you know, this area being lot like wider i really like that option and the hardware actually is more shiny uh, when you compare to the speedy ones so yeah there's a lot of things that's different and actually like the monogram print with the black uh, leather i don't know it's a little different and unique and it's more understated but still you got the uh, monogram print i think it's really pretty and it looks dressy also and at the same time it can be casual so i wouldn't say i against the speedy 30 or anything like that i still love the bag and i think the bags are always gonna be in fashion i think but anyways this is just me i went with this handbag uh, i sold both of them and when i was selling them i it took three months or four months for me to decide i was telling myself if you're gonna get this handbag uh because i I really like this handbag and I was thinking they look really similar and I wasn't already not using my Speedy 30 that me uh, no monogram print sorry guys the Pachetta leather because it rained a lot at the time and anyway I wasn't using the bag that much by the time and I knew that I was gonna sell that one after selling that one I felt like after you know to get this handbag this bag cost more um, and the Damien Iben I thought that they really function similarly just rain free right and similar shape and it fits similar amount things and but I really like the look of it and just everything little bits of things I like this but I was thinking if I miss it again I wanted to go for like on monogram you know speedy uh, to have my initial later on in the future if I really want to get back but yeah that's that and anyways I just wanted to say that because a lot of you guys asked me where's your speedy and what did you do with it and you know to do the comparison video so i do not have that bag anymore and love this handbag so much thank you so much for watching this video and if you guys have any more questions on this handbag please let me know i will try to get back to you as soon as possible okay guys have a wonderful day bye bye